If this wasn't a Piston Cup Teams episode, it would be an episode of Forlorn Favorites because in my opinion, Combustor is one of the most underrated, forgotten sponsors of Cars 3 and maybe even of all the Cars movies because even though it was brand new to the third movie, Chip Gearing's here, the Cars 3 veteran, and Chris Roman, the next gen, haven't been released in a long time. The hauler that was released in 2018 became extremely rare after that, and we've got no other team members. The Combustor Tractor that was supposed to come out in 2019 got canceled, and so poor Combustor hasn't gotten any love whatsoever. Oh, and not to mention the launcher got canceled as well. So poor Combustor has gotten very little love and even a little bit of neglect from Mattel. And so me, I'm going to try and give it a voice, going to try and breathe some new life into it in Pissing Cup Teams episode 9 here on the channel. Yeah, guys, welcome back. Let me center this. There we go. Welcome back. Now we're good. We're in business now. So it kind of just happened coincidentally that my last episode was of Blinker which is also a new sponsor for Cars 3. I didn't really intend to do these back to back, but it made sense. I have some nice customs here I wanna share with you guys. And like I said, they're pretty forlorn right now. I would not be surprised if either of these two get released over the next year though. I think it'd be cool to see Chip Gearings cause then, I mean, hopefully as a single, we get to see his new artwork as a Thailand release. Cause I don't think he's been released from Thailand, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he has, so it'd be cool to see his artwork. Of course, Chris Roman was one of the very, very first Thailand releases, and so that's why we also have a Chinese version of him that basically got canceled or just kind of shoved to the side to make room for the Thailand version. So we're going to get into all that, and we're going to start just with Chip Gearings. Now, Chip Gearings brings back a lot of memories for me because he was one of the very first cars to leak out to Chinese eBay sellers when all the Cars 3 stuff started popping up. And in fact, this might be that very one that I got from the Chinese seller several months ahead of the Cars 3 release. You can see it's not in perfect condition or anything like that. And that is because it's kind of like a reject, right? It's a defective one. That is how the Chinese seller was able to get her hands on it. And yeah, I remember seeing this. And I was like, no way. That's awesome. Because it was a new sponsor, but very clearly a Piston Cup racer still. And so because it was a new sponsor, I think it really excited a lot of people. Whereas if, you know, we just saw like, you know, the Red Meeker, we just saw like the Spother Stop, we just saw those, I think it'd be a little bit less hype because then we'd realize like, oh, it's a Piston Cup race, but just kind of with some new upgraded vehicles. And then, you know, we see Combustor here and we're like, oh my God, that's a brand new sponsor. And so it really created a lot of hype for the movie as we led up to it. But yeah, pretty typical expression, Combustor, the power of online banking. So it's a banking firm and one of the many in Cars 3 that have this er at the end, igniter, combustor, blinker. I don't know. I feel like they overuse that a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> but you can see the main logo here is a piston just slamming down and making the boom. Number 11, he's got some graphics up here by the vents, which is like a graph data graph indicating the ups and downs the ebbs and flows which i do like it's kind of like a heartbeat as well lime green rims with white trim there black light your tires you have light you there on the fenders the contingency sponsors are pissing up violating revolting rpm nitrate acting gain and clutch aid now for whatever reason they kind of put this weird black design behind this part here but over here it's pretty clean green it's kind of weird how they did it i thought mine was like always dirty because i'd see like the blackness right there and it doesn't necessarily look good it makes it look a little dirty but it's supposed to be like that now these 11s here look really good i'm a big fan i like the depth they gave to it blue well white blue green and then the white with all the little hexagons and it gives a very modern looking design you can see all the hexagons over here as well at least i think those are hexagons yep Yep, I count three sides, six sides, six sides. I, I know math, geometry, I do it. White window bars, combustor, the combustor, the power of online banking there. Gas cap. Does he have an arrow? Oh my God, no way. I feel like almost all Piston Cup racers have that arrow on the bottom here indicating where to lift them up at to do, you know, change the tires and all that stuff. But he does not. Maybe it's because he was one of the first ones, so they just didn't put it on him. 
Or maybe mine's inaccurate. No, I think all of them are like that. He's got the camera here on the back. Looks pretty cool. Exhaust pipes there. Nice design for a Piston Cup racer. A lot of the racers, though, as we've talked about before in Cars 3, have a blue-green color scheme, which became very repetitive. You know, you have, like, Eric Breaker, or is it, yeah, Spiky Phillips. I mean, Eric Breaker is also green and yellow. And then you had, like, Noah Gochak. I just, they all look super similar, and it got kind of repetitive, and that's really why I wish they kept around some of the more uniquely colored sponsors, like Taco Man, Shifty Drug, Sidewall Shine. Fiber fuel. I mean, you literally keep those around and you have a much more diverse looking field in terms of color. All right, so here you have Chris Roman. Now we're going to briefly do a little comparison between the Thailand and Chinese versions. Basically, one has this super glossy finish but blurry decals, while the other one has clear decals but a less glossy, shiny finish. And he also does not have the eye plate there. It's just part of the main metal body. The rims look better too, I'd say. They're a little bit more realistic looking, but you get a little bit more of the green on that wall there, whereas this is more of a silver wall. Honestly, the contingency sponsors on the Thailand one here don't look bad. I think they started well off the gate. You know, again, like I said, one of the first Thailand releases, he was in the very first case of singles they did from Thailand, at least, you know, in this generation. We all know they did do Thailand releases way back in 2006. But in this new era, he was the first, along with Shriram. But yeah, those look pretty good, right? I don't know why they regress. They're capable. We know they're capable of doing clear decals like these. But yeah, Chris Roman has a nice, very blocky matrix design here, also representing kind of a data grid, but in a much modern, more modern sense. You can see the difference here. The Chinese version has opaque windows, which is actually, it's usually the inverse. Usually the Thailand ones have the opaque windows. The Chinese ones don't, but that might be because this one's more of a prototype, not an official release. You can see no date stamp on here but made in China, FLL32. I wonder if that product code matches this one. Yep, sure enough, it does. This was produced during the 23rd week of 2018 at the A factory. Not gonna lie, because of the fact that the decals are pretty clear on this one, I might say I prefer the Thailand one. It ultimately comes down to the glossiness. It just looks so much more visually appealing. I mean, also here you see the roof panels. They're really outlined, very defined right there. Whereas these ones just, they kind of blend in. They're mushy. It's like they melted. I also like the windows better. So yeah, I mean, I obviously love the, the fact that this is like a canceled version. It's extremely rare, but if they were both just regular releases, like, you know, when we compare HJ Hollis from both countries, I would go with the Thailand version because it's before they got lazy and complacent and like all right we got them hooked now we could revert to blurry decals they won't notice <laughs> so there you have it there's chris roman all right so now we have a couple customs these are all from the same guy they aren't great by any means and they were actually shipped poorly in my opinion so this one <laughs> poor guy he took a beating he lost his little back panel here he got chipped but yeah, I got them for a good price and they look good like on display when you don't see all the little intricacies and deficiencies and blemishes. And so, yeah, love to share them with you guys here. So what I love about these customs and, you know, the guy who did that Blinker crew chief in the Team Blinker video is the same who did these. So I like they always change the expressions up and they look pretty good. Like this one, you have the expression looking off to his left. I like that. Gives him more personality. Looks pretty solid. He used just the typical like leakless RPM experiment, that shiny wax type sedan model, race official Tom model, Dan Sklarkenberg model. All of them are the same model. And he was able to recreate the decals pretty well. Now, again, as I've talked about many times before, unlike the Cars 1 Piston Cup racers, the Cars 3 next gen and even the stock cars, like those graphics never got uploaded online. And it's probably because they just, you know, were never released anywhere. 
in high quality. It's not like you ever got like a book or a digital release and like having all the logos just bam, 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 like in a line. Whereas like for Cars 1, there were so many releases of different things you would get, you know, the decals in high quality. And so that's how you get like a nice tank coat logo that looks really crisp. With Cars 3, especially the next gen stuff, you don't have access to that stuff. And it really, really sucks because, you know, when I try to make my thumbnails for the backgrounds of like a Chris Rowan video or a flipped over video, I have to try and create those graphics. Like if you look at my flipped over one, I created pretty much the entire thing you're looking at right there. The little heart that I was able to get online, but it's basically just like a photograph and it's not that great quality. It looks good because it's so far away and it's printed, but I created everything else you see there. I created the double zero. I created the white tracks. And so that's what you're seeing here. You're seeing an honest attempt at recreating these combustor decals, which I think he did a very phenomenal job with. I think if maybe he bolded that font, didn't, it looks a little italicized maybe, but he did a great job, you know, of recreating what you see here, especially with the piston and the bang. Now you can see that the, <laughs> it's not supposed to look cracked like that. That's just the deformity of the decal, but yeah, he did a great job recreating it. The 11 even looks really solid. I don't know how he was able to do that, but I think it looks really spot on. Almost looks like a 77 though. The green rims look good. No license plate. He just painted that back on. Now we do have a couple chips here. And that, oh wow, this is an old one. This was produced on the 284th day of 2008. So yeah, this very well could be a shiny wax chief or a spearmint. I hope he didn't use a spearmint chief. I hope he didn't use a shiny. I hope he used like a leakless or RPM chief, which is probably what he did because those are just way more accessible. Actually, no, I hope he didn't use leakless. Yeah, RPM or Roman Dunes. Yeah, the no stall one. Those two would be the easiest ones to use. There is a chip right here. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to tell. But yeah, it looks good from afar. <laughs> here we have a tool cart. And it just has the piston logo there. Painted in the nice navy blue. Looks like he used a... Uh, is that leakless? Is that yellow or like the lime green of Trunk Fresh? Oh, it honestly, it looks like it could be a trunk fresh tool cart that he used for this. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. He was able to retain the silver lining on the drawers there. Now the pity looks pretty good too. You're able to get the 11 on either side. Piston logo on the top. Now granted, monstrous chip right here, but that's a shipping problem. And again, like I don't intend for these to be like my permanent team members. Like hopefully down the road, I can get somebody to make some more customs of these, like some really nice ones. But again, it's going to be difficult because we don't have the decals prepared. Like you'd have to ha get a really good scan of the hauler. Your hauler is probably like the best shot you have at getting good decals for this team. You'd have to like put this guy through a scanner essentially because this is the highest and largest quality that we have. But yeah, let's take a look here at the hauler, which unfortunately they never named. Hopefully they re-release him though, because a lot of people you know, would like to get him. And for whatever reason, they did him and Ponchi Wipeout's hauler from Cars 3 in 2018, and then they never re-released them. Yet every other hauler, legit every other hauler that they've released since Cars 3, they've released more than once. So that's Gail Bofford, that's John Halstead, that's the Ponchi Wipe, the Next Gen Bumper Save one, that's Bobby Swift, that's Cal Weathers, that's Mac. They've done all of those. They've done the Marty Next Gen Walmart hauler. Which haven't they done more than once? These two, of course. Why? I don't know. I mean, some of those, Speedy Comets, Steve Car I don't know, Steve Karski, I think, got two releases as well. I mean, they've done those like up to three times now. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe next year they'll re-release these, but or maybe they'll do new ones, which would be nice. They need to do the Cruz Ramirez one that they've canceled like two or three times by now. But anywho, now it always really was curious to me. I never understood what this is, and it's only on the hauler here. That what is that right there? It's like a miniature one of these, but without the detailing. It's on the hauler too. Right there. I mean, I have no idea what that is. Maybe it has something to do with banking. Like, I know this is all supposed to kind of look like 
a very pixelated computer type thing. But I don't know what they're going for with that. Maybe somebody in investment banking can help us out here. But yeah, Combustor, again, the power of online banking. You got the logo on the hat right there. A very pure dark blue. Looks good. They match the mouth plate to the main metal body quite well. You got even the decals there on the mud flaps. His license plate is P0914C. So probably somebody's initials PC and then birthday of September 14th. But yeah, I really don't know what that is. I don't know. It has to be something specific to banking, which would be cool. A cool little Easter egg. Some sort of computer symbol. But yeah, I'm not in investment banking or anything, so I don't know. But yeah, you get a much better look at the blackness that I was originally calling what looked to be like dirt, like right here. And you know, I was like, oh, that looks dirty. But it's supposed to be like that. It's, again, giving off a pixelated pixelated no a pixelated vibe computer type deal and it looks pretty good very unique design for sure combustor again i'm not going to read that slogan i love how simple the back is here it just is straight 11 so again you get a good scan of that which would be difficult you'd almost have to rip the door off because you got this big lip in the way so you couldn't lay it flat on the scanner. Yeah, I guess you could maybe do the roof. You know what, I might try that. I really might try that. Or if you get like a good picture of it, you could also hopefully extract the decals. Hmm. Fortunately, I won't need it for this thumbnail just because of the nature of the Piston Cup team of thumbnails. I don't really need to print anything out, but for the majority of my thumbnails, I have to print stuff out and put it in the background. You guys know that. Now, last but not least is the launcher. Now, this was so, so close to getting released. There were quite a few of them out there that got leaked, and it was on the back of the packaging for the Brick Yardley launcher, which was the last one they did in that series. Now, they've moved on, and the launchers have been remodeled. You have the pity up here in the cockpit, essentially. But yeah, these were pretty lame. I was not a huge fan of them, but it was the first way you could get Brian Spark and Floyd Mulvey Hill, and to this day, I'm pretty sure remains the only way you can get both of those racers released from China, so that's something. But I wouldn't mind if they started doing like these racers in the new launcher style, because then we kind of get like a version of their pitties, which would be the first time we got a Cars 3 stock car pity. So we wouldn't have like a custom, you guys know what I mean, it'd be basically like this. Just like, you know, centered. And then I could unscrew this whole thing and have like a combustor pity and I'd be super cool. It'd be plastic, it wouldn't roll, but it'd be cool, right? Fortunately, they never really did that though. Like they did so many piss and car racers in that type of launcher. It's so weird. They like vacillated like in 2014, 15, whatnot, 16, they did those types of launchers with the pity up here. Then in 2017 and 2018, they did this design, but now we're back to the pity design. And you know, despite all of those years where they had the pity, and now that it's back, they never did like an exotic character that we didn't already have a pity for. You know, you had Raul Set Rule, already have his pity. You had Max Schnell, already have his pity. Did they do shoot to the Roki? No, of course not. No, why would they do shoot to the Roki? We don't have his pity, right? Did they do Ryan Shields? No, they did James Cleaner and like Octane Gain. Ugh, annoys me. Now I get probably why that is because they were like, oh, we already have the design for this pity. Copy paste. Bam. Let's sell them at random stores like Kohl's. Walmart, though, has been pretty consistent nowadays with the launchers. But yeah, so it's really curious that this got canceled because then they just, they continued to make them just remodeled. So maybe Walmart was like, these are boring as hell. Can you give us something a little bit more juicy? And they're like, here, here's a sexy pity launcher. But yeah, anyways, you have the logo right there that we've seen a million times today. Again, it's a prototype. This is a canceled product, so it's not perfect. But yeah, I'm happy to have it. The wheels look nice up here. I like that they match ship gearings perfectly. And you have a nice tool cart. So I guess that's what the tool cart should look like. 
combustor logo with 11 on each side. But this was a good attempt. But yeah, you could theoretically unscrew this whole thing and you'd have then a loose version of this. I'm not going to press this down because I don't want to screw it up. But yeah, that would launch whatever is inside there. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video, Piston Cup Teams Episode 9. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite team member. I really do like the Crew Chief, actually. I know it's not the best custom in the world, but it's a great attempt. And I, I don't know. I like the racers as well. I think they're underrated. My only qualm, which is not really their fault, it's just that their color scheme is shared by literally half the field. And so it gets a little stale. Love to see some more red, some more yellow purple actually no they kind of did a lot of purple as well so retread albeit you know one of my favorites would kind of fall into that same category but whatever guys thank you so much again for watching this video and i'll see you soon for another one bye now